everyone, this is MJ. I'm so excited you've joined me for my countdown to Christmas featuring MJ's Merry Minis. I've designed 25 Christmas ornaments and each one will release from December 1st through to December 25th. And you'll be able to find the pattern for free on my blog on the ornaments release day. Now I'm hosting a crochet along over in my Facebook community group and the link will be in the description box if you want to join in and post your pictures. If you'd rather not wait for all 25 ornaments to release, I've decided to put together a beautifully designed ebook featuring all 25 crochet ornaments. You can purchase the ebook through the link in my description box. Okay, so for our plaid stocking, we're going to begin with white and a magic ring. Chain one, work six, single crochet in the ring, now we'll pull the ring tight, so pull your tail, pull that loop, and then pull. We're going to slip stitch in the first single crochet to join, chain one, and then work two single crochet into every stitch. Now slip stitch to join, chain one, and then work one single crochet in the first, two single crochet in the next, one in the next, and two in the next. And just repeat that pattern all the way around. And then slip stitch to join On the slip stitch join, we're going to change to gray. Pull your tail so that your join is nice and tight and chain two. And we'll work three half doubles in the gray. On that third half double, we're gonna change to black. Then we'll work one, two, three, and I'm just dropping off the gray. I'm just going to be dropping off the colors and picking them back up. Switch back to gray. One, two, three. Switch back to black. One, And on the last third stitch of black, we'll switch back to gray. Work three in the gray. And on the third, we switch back to black. back to gray. 
slip stitch in the first stitch to join, chain two, and then we'll do this round the exact same. So we'll have two, three gray, and black. So this round is worked just like this. So the next round is going to be black, white, black, white. So I've slip stitched over Let me just pull it back. So we're slip, you don't have to change color here. We can just slip stitch with the black. Chain two, work three half doubles in the black. And then we'll switch to white. And we'll do three half doubles in the white. And then back to black. So let's just repeat that around. And we're just gonna do another round following the same pattern, black, white, black, white. And just repeat this all the way around. Okay, and then we're going to switch back to gray, slip stitch to join, chain two. And this round we're going to start our heel opening. So the heel opening will be made across the last six stitches. So we'll just continue in the pattern, the first section here, first 12 stitches. So we're going gray and then black. Keeping kind of all of your balls going to one side and making sure not to twist them, I find is does help a little bit when you're working with all these colors. Chain our six now. So we've got six stitches left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Come over and slip stitch to join. Chain two and work. Another round of the gray black pattern. Okay, now this black, I'm pulling from over there, so I'm gonna crochet over the tail here. One, two, three, and then we're gonna pull back up the gray. Three gray. We'll go back to black. So I'm going to continue and when I get to the chain, 
Nope, the chain's like right there. So I'm just gonna work over to it. One, two, Okay, so when you get to the chain, we're changing back to gray. So now we have completed two rounds of the gray black combo. So now we're going back to black, white, black, white. So we'll slip stitch to join, chain two, and work. Three. And then we need to find our white. So I'm going to do two rounds of the black, white, black, white, and then I'll meet you back up again. Okay, so now I'm going to, I've done my two rounds, so I'm back to gray, black, gray, black, and I'm going to go ahead and do two rounds of that color pattern. Slip stitch to join, chain two. Now it's gray. But always on the third stitch, we're changing. Okay, and just repeat two rounds of that. Okay, and now I'm switching back to black, white, black, white. So slip stitch over with the black, chain two, okay, and just repeat that pattern all the way around. Okay, so now we're not going to do another round, we are just going to single crochet in every stitch around. So we're not doing the color change. So you should have 18 stitches and then we're gonna start on the band. Okay, so you want to slip stitch in the first single crochet to join. Now we'll chain nine. And in the second chain from the hook, we'll work a single crochet and in every chain down. You just want to make sure that you count that you have eight stitches. Okay, so now we'll skip that very first stitch and slip stitch into the next two stitches along the base of the stocking. Turn and take a look at your stitch here. You want a single crochet in the back loop only. 
all the way across. Total of eight stitches. Chain one and turn and back down the chain. Okay, and now what we'll do is slip stitch into the next two. And we're just gonna keep repeating this pattern. So single crochet up, chain one and turn, single crochet back down. And you just wanna keep doing that until you have a total of 18 rows. And to join your band up now, you're just gonna work through the back loop and across. So go through the back loop and then the next stitch on your starting chain. And just work that all the way down. Okay, so then you just want to weave in that tail. and for the heel. One, two, three. I'm gonna join in here. Okay, so we're gonna join in. We wanna get 14 stitches going around the opening of this heel. So we'll work three. We're gonna work one in the corner. Then we're gonna work six across, one in the corner, and three more. So we have a total of 14. When you get all the way around, you're gonna slip stitch to join. And we're gonna do some decreases now. So we're gonna chain one, work a single crochet into the next two. And then we're gonna decrease by going through the front loop of the next three. Pull through all three loops, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so we've worked across. And then we're gonna go in the front loops of the next three, pull through three pull through two, and single crochet in the last two. Slip stitch to join. And then we're just gonna fasten off with a tail and to close up the heel. Really, really simple. We're just gonna weave through the front loops only. Of every stitch around. Okay, 
and that's just going to close it right up and then you can just weave in your tails. So then our little stocking is complete. Now to finish it off, you can either just use one of the ornament hooks to hang it on the tree, or you can use some twine. Take your yarn needle. Pull that through and if you would like you can add some beads it just looks really nice to add a few wooden beads to that thanks so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on new videos and tutorials and check back tomorrow for the next ornament that I'll be releasing in MJ's Merry Mini Christmas collection. Thanks so much, everyone. Have an awesome day.